Louisa. Again. Guess what month it is. Um, you know, it's always a great question. I lose track sometimes. Louisa! Could it possibly Louisa? be... Pride Month? It's Pride Month, it's baby! Pride Month. Now, yeah. it's always Pride Month on our channel. You've seen sure. you've seen what our our channel name is. You yeah. know who we are. Yeah. But and we thought we'd right. do... We do some extra special Pride Month little recordings. They may or may not come out during Pride Month. We'll see. But you know that we did them during Pride Month. <laughs> um, where we play cute little games that are gay themed. Yeah, gay games. You know, games. It's, it's time for gaming. Time for gaming. Yeah, I I had these big plans to do like at least once a week a special Pride Month app of cute games. And then the homophobia set in, and by that I mean I ended this up having you kind of mean it. <laughs> uh, I had to spend the last week um I had to pay the grandparent tax, which is that my grandparents came and stayed where I'm staying for the week and oh kids it was bad. Mm. The homophobia mm. rampant. My closet firmly padlocked shut. This has been a homophobic first week of Pride. Um, but now we're in week two, and we're gonna get gay with it. Right, maybe I'll insert a qu the quick cinematic video I took of me screaming at the top of my lungs <laughs> as soon as they drove away. <laughs> I'll admit. Thank you. But yeah, so now I can be as gay as I want. Um, if you're not familiar with the channel, hi, I'm Ren. I use they, them pronouns. That's right, folks. We're doing a full shift. We're shifting oh, all the way over to they, them. To me. Congrats. Thank you. I, I'm feeling zesty. It's Pride Month. It's time. All right. Well, that's exciting. I'm Louisa. Still sticking with she, her. But oh, you know... Yeah. I'm entering a stage of advanced, complicated queerness mm. the world can't comprehend, and by the world I mean myself, yes, so yes, yes. that's what I'm doing for my mom. <laughs> Incredible. Well, let's go ahead and jump to the game. I know nothing about this game except that there's lesbians. Yep. This is all we know. And that's all we need to know. Alright, shout out to these Tumblrinas. Uh, the devs. Oh. Got Tumblrs, don't we all? Says, hello, hero. Would would you like to be the tutorial reader? Sure. Because I feel like I've been the tutorial reader in the past, mm, so I think it's fair. your turn. It's good to see you. You will enter a world of swords and sorcery where giant lizard things think thievery and regicide is a good idea. Hey, Hi, folks. Regicide is always, always a good idea. <laughs> Let me show you what you look like. Don't question why you look like that. It's time to name yourself. This looks like you freshman year of college. God, it does. <laughs> <laughs> Should we be Luren? Yeah, Luren. Great. I'm gonna stick with they them. Okay. I love that he him is not an option. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck you, man. <laughs> I mean, I do feel that's a little sad because there are he him lesbians. Yes, this is um, true. This is true. But it is a little bit funny. I do enjoy the power power play though of like. The, the rejection of right. cis men, you know? Yeah, so. get, get fucked. <laughs> get excluded. Get excluded. The thing is, the world has always been one that longs for a hero. What's a hero? Someone who fills the world with change and splendor, with courageous... Nope. With courage and love in their hearts. But remember, a hero isn't one person. No man is an island, so they say. I might recommend for you to build up your relationships, be in touch with your heart so you can touch others. In other words, be as gay as your heart desires, you funky little lesbian. You're getting what you paid for. Venture thus unto the world and let your heroic tales unfold. Yeah, that's right. Hey. 
Ooh, do you want to be question mark, question mark, question mark? Sure. I, I again, uh, reserve the right to change my voice once I see what this person looks like. <laughs> but, um, of course. Up. Level. You've arrived. Heck yeah! Final boss! <laughs> Heck yeah! Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Don't copy me, you nerd! Is it a different question mark? I think it's still you. Okay. Alright, alright. Shut it, it's my turn. I mean, Lena's gonna continue. I guess it is different people. Mm-hmm. Thanks, Rafi. <laughs> so you've all come to the end of your journey. Flames roar all about you, trapping you in a cage of heat and noise. Unnaturally high for your run-of-the-mill forest fires, those ain't no ordinary flames. They're magic ones cast by the very evil sorcerer, yes, the one in front of you right now. You mere fools, you are foolish. Fools to think you could ever defeat I, Prozac the Powerful. (laughs) Wow. Uh, you know what? Shout out to Prozac. Prozac? Got me through some rough times. (laughs) Yeah, my well Butrin, she's- she's a queen? Yeah, I said Prozac, I'm on the Prozac generic, you know? Oh, you got it, I'm on the generic. I've never taken a name brand drug for my depression once. Fluxetine forever, but- Oh, Fluxamine, my beloved. (laughs) (laughs) Bupropion, she's a real one. (laughs) Prozac is never the enemy, kids. No, yeah. The very evil sorcerer cackles, raising his staff high to the sky at your obvious defeat, or so it seems. Hold it, fiend! Yes, hot, hot. A literal knight in shining armor, the tank of your party rises, basically binding you in her glory. Got my hair. Respect. It does have Louisa hair. For eons you've reigned eons of terror, pushing the innocence of this land into, um, a region, or sorry, a reign of terror. Well, no more! My trusty fellow allies of trust shall vanquish thee. Her heart-rending speech strikes a chord in all your hearts. You, her trusty ally of trust, cannot simply stand mutely moot. Hmm... These are all good. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna do this one. Solved. I, cruel foe, for too long have God's mercy kept thee on this land. Thou shalt taste foolish fall as thou um, fail in stuff. What eloquent what elo- words. <laughs> I'm okay. sorry. Yeah, this is you. I don't, we- I don't know. Is that what this- I guess it's the paladin still. But it says as ex- okay. I am um, yeah. My one complaint that's game so far is it is unclear who is speaking. <laughs> uh, wish there was a little like just Usually two dots, you know, saying who was saying what. But um, I think this is the DM question. Mark. Okay, maybe. So it's me. As expected of a bard, inspired by your poetry, the remaining member of your party too scrambles to stand. Oh, this is me. Yeah, this is you for sure. Big me energy. With newfound unfamiliar valiantness, she points an accusing finger at the very evil sorcerer. Determination burning in her eyes, she opens her mouth, capturing the full attention of the enemy. I have no part in this. I'm actually just in it for the money. In fact, she offers ten gold to attack your party instead. Whoa. <laughs> Silence reigns across the dungeon. The sorcerer ponders the business offer. <laughs> Who are we throwing a dank guitar at? The sorcerer or the sorcerer? Hunter? Probably. Yeah, for sure. You, a brilliant strategist, devise perfect plans that you execute immediately. Dank guitar smashes into smithereens. Yo, shout out! Yo, shout out! <laughs> 
<laughs> on the very evil My acapella group. <laughs> for contact. To Louise's for acapella group know. from college. Find them on Spotify. <laughs> you gain 10 plus punk. You also shed a single tear for Dank Guitar's sacrifice. The very evil sorcerer falls to his knees. Now it's just time for the final blow. The paladin raises her brave sword, the hunter her bow, and you have nothing after smashing your dang guitar, so you don't really do anything. With a flash of blinding light, the evil ruler of this land is no more. I'm obsessed with how this paladin, like, dank armor, but the yeah. no pants, as far as I can tell. Zero no. pants. Not Why do you need them? Not that she needs them, but I love it. Finally, the evil has been defeated. And so there's that gift of the frog from Cabin in the Woods, where the <laughs> girl's holding it up, so that the evil has been defeated. Yes. The dungeon is quiet, the roaring of the magical flames extinguished along with the sorcerer's defeat. The adventure, the quest you've all spent together is over. This land shall suffer under his iron fist of cruelty no more, thinking that should clear your hearts, but for some reason, you feel a sense of emptiness within you. Have you ever felt that sense that something is missing? Like there's a hole inside of you, you have to fill. Yeah, girl, take your Prozac. Hey, bestie. <laughs> you just beat up Prozac. And you need her. <laughs> this empty feeling. You know what it is. Ooh. Should you be Do me. Yeah. Sure. Hunger. Oh wait, this is also a Paladin. character. I think these are you okay. two, yeah. Yeah, okay. What? 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 We're taking a break. I want sandwiches. Oh no, wait, that was Lena. I was doing the wrong voice for her. Whatever, I'll figure it out. Ignoring your friend's protest, your GM strolls leisurely to her kitchen. This d, &D session can't really continue without her here, so you just stew in silence. Oh, Lena was the GM, so uh, I think that's you, and then sure. I'll be the person on the couch and this person. Okay. Well, I was getting a bit tired. It's due for a break. Ugh. Having become interested in D&D &D lately, you and your friends have been pretty into this nerd crud. Speaking so true. of... What had you decided to name your character? Ooh. What's our cool character do we, name? We're the bard. Do we wanna... We're bard, of With course. With a guitar, yep. I do like the idea of you, which I think you're about to suggest, because I'm psychic and we're besties. Were you gonna pull up mm -hmm. a name generator? No, I was gonna say, should we uh, take names from actual D&D &D characters of ours? Oh, like, true. Do a, do a little we, Well, we do a little, have a, a barb boy. I've got, I've got a barb boy, Mr. A Donovan. Barb boy, Donovan. He's iconic. I feel like Donovan would be a fun last name, maybe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, okay. First do you want to give a first name? Sure. Um, see, now I'm just thinking about another character from the campaign Donovan was with Zane, which is Croc, and Croc Donovan is a great name. Croc Donovan is a great name, <laughs> so yeah. let's have to go with it. Shout out to Atlas if you ever see this. Yep. Croc is still one of your most iconic characters. Send tweet. I- do you have her full name off the top of your head? Because I do not. It, it's- oh no, it's a bazillion words long. It's yeah, like it's every so long. every crocodile name. But it shortens to Croc Boots, yeah. which is just- Yeah. Great. Great work, Atlas. Great work. Hey! <laughs> yeah, no. You actually named your character Sir Swaggerballs? Oh, it's one of these campaigns, huh? No! No! Fine. Great. Your name can, can be Croc Donovan or whatever, I guess. Thank you. Anyways, you suddenly get a very particular and strong desire to introduce your friends to yourself. Okay. <laughs> you wonder briefly why you... Whatever feel the surge, as someone familiar with them already, but whatever's. I want to talk to this dude in the background. Yeah. Oh, that's Jim. Oh, that's Jimothy. Just another ordinary boy. Incredible. Say hi to Jimothy. 
<laughs> <laughs> you say hi, inwardly, hoping your thoughts reach his ordinary heart. Well. It totally did. Forgetting my choice to voice him. Because I think he maybe <laughs> doesn't talk. <laughs> this campaign is run by Lena, who just went into her kitchen. She's what you call cool and aloof. Maybe a bit of a mom friend since she got her own place. That's where you're at now. She always chides us for leaving milk out in the open. You leave milk in the open? Why would you do that? Also, why are you drinking milk as an adult? I mean, I, I don't mind a milk. Ugh. I don't usually go for it. Usually it's in a cereal, but it's like, be an ice if cream. someone put milk in front of me, I, I would drink it. Huh, interesting. Are you perhaps... A buffalo or some type of cattle? I'm not not a buffalo. Like, <laughs> are they're... you by son? Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I've been out punned. I can't believe it. Mm. You also suspect she's secretly a genius. The hunter is run by the gremlin over there. Her name is Gwen, and she's small. <laughs> you have a long, deep-seated desire to throw down with her for once and for all. She is your sworn enemy. Interparty conflict, always mm -hmm. spicy. Mm -hmm. The paladin is run by Rafi over there. She's the sweetest girl you've ever met. Once she gave you an entire bowl of sweets. Sure, it was a bowl mixed with M&M, Skittles, and tiny rocks that looked like sweets, but it's the thought that counts. Excuse me? Ah, uh, very intrigued. Mm. That's you, a singy boy. Okay, I, I maybe should Yeah. voice the PC if Jim is not going to talk, and also yes. the PC's a bard is my, so fair. my thoughts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think this is still, like, the narrator, okay. I don't know. Also known as the bard, the adventure poet, and completely useless. You feel it reflects your true soul. It's your first time with D&D, but you've already concluded that the singing boy is the best class, objectively. All true. True for sure. Who cares if you had zero attack or defense points? You get to seduce everything. I will say, I do want to push back a little bit on the stereotype that bards seduce everything. Yeah, it's not real true. Not true. How do I continue? Load. And then load what you just saved? Question mark? Yeah, click on the save. Yeah. Yes. I think. Can I say get back? Yeah. Your little doodle of dank guitar brings nostalgic tears to your eyes. Sure, fine, whatever. You returned your boring life full of not introducing. In your stupor, you realize most of your friends have moved off to different sides of the room, eager to explore Lena's new house. All right, well, here's our first real choice. Who do we want to start um, with? I don't know. Let's go to the kitchen with Lena. I love a kitchen. All right. Love a kitchen, love a GM. I guess this is the PC? What you doing? Hate to say it, you're, really? you're Lena as well, my dude. Am I Lena? Yeah. I thought you were Lena, because Lena was the GM. Oh, right, right. We, we figured that out after. Uh, making sandwiches. Wanna help? You can help out, Lena. Then hang out with others within your break time. Help out? Sure. Let's help. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you start helping out. What a nice house guest you are. You decide to criticize Lena's pants to even it out. They're fun pants! I've said this already, but your pants are terrible. Hey, my house, my rules. She gives you a cool shrug. It is so cool. The room temperature instantly falls by 10 degrees Celsius. That's a lot of degrees. Yeah. Damn, maybe she secretly is a genius. Awed by her sheer coolness, you only realize after a while the sheer number of sandwiches you're making. 
Oh my god. Whoa. That's a lot. It's for everyone, too. That's really nice of you. Lena looks a little pleased as she finishes up the stack of sandwiches. I'm not really... I'm just used to taking care of my twin brother. No! I was always twin. the more mature one. <laughs> no wonder. I'm kind of curious what you were like as a child, actually. I still have pictures. I'll show you if we have time. I'll take the sandwiches to the table. Could you help me put the milk back into the fridge so the milk babies don't die? Hello? I have questions. Excuse me? I have follow-up questions. What? You know, the milk babies. They die if you don't put them back in the fridge. That's why the milk tastes bad when you leave it out, you know? Lena chides you gently as she leaves you in abject confusion and more confusion. Uh, milk babies? What? Girl. Could it be? Lena's dumb? <laughs> no. No way. No way, you say, but the mystery nags at your mind. There's no way she's actually not smart, right? Mystery of Lena. Added. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's talk to Gwen. Let's say hi to everyone. If you think you've beaten me with your sick-ass guitar smashing, you're wrong. What an annoying brat. Wait, is my only choice to, like, spend the whole break with her, or...? Um, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Dialogue. Okay, so let's go talk to everyone else and then come back? Yeah, sure. What are you doing? Oh, n nothing yet. Say, have you watched Infinity's Wars yet? The Marvel girly. <laughs> Rip. N no. Captain Iron dies! You no longer want <laughs> to make small talk with Rafi. I respect spoilering. <laughs> I'm very- I'm very chill about spoilers and- there comes a point where it's like, you just gotta talk about the thing. Yeah. You call out to Jimothy, who's watching TV. Hey! Hi. Jimothy goes back to whatever brain-rotting program he's watching. Alright, seems like we gotta pick... Rafe or Gwen? Either... Yeah. I don't, I don't have a preference here. I wanna learn more about Gwen. She's hey. she's giving me vibes and I love that. Solid. Gwen is fiddling on her phone, furiously typing something. You vaguely catch some photos flash past her screen. You have time to sit down and figure out what she's doing before hanging out with others within your break time. Should I do just that? Yeah. You take your seat back at the table. Gwen glares at you, or stare curiously. You can never really tell. As soon as your eyes glance over, the phone's screen turns black. Ugh, how dare she try to protect her privacy by turning her phone off? What was that? It's nothing! Go back to being a nerd! Yeah. Yeah. Y you nerd. I'm not a nerd, you're the nerd! You are! Your face is nerdier, nerd. Stop yelling, you two! We just finished playing D&D. &D. You both are nerds! Damn. Damn. Real. Got him. Under Rafi's infinite wisdom, you enter a grudging truce. I can't believe you smashed your guitar. It was your dank guitar. You gently correct her. The correct term is... DANK GUITAR! Anyways, didn't you love that thing? It was worth it. I mean, I guess. 
You still stole my XP. They don't do EXP sharing? Come on, Lena. Come on, Lena. Setting up a party where kill stealing is a thing. Yeah, yikes. That's why I'm so mad about it. Gwen opens her mouth to say more, but is distracted by a ping on her phone. This is your chance. You may be a complete idiot with two remaining brain cells, but you do have a sharp eye for chances. What are you even looking at? Gwen raises her head in a daze. Uh, uh, cryptids? What? Nothing! Go away! Love a cryptid, Gwen. Talk to me about Bigfoot. Tell me about Nessie. <laughs> Talk Bigfoot to me. <laughs> yeah. As Gwen rejects further conversation, the question nags at your mind. Could it be? Gwen has a relation to cryptids, or... The mystery is seriously nagging at your mind. Mystery of Gwen, added. She's a cryptid fucker, what's there to get? Yeah. Oh, I guess we can- Oh, we can also say added. Yeah, okay. Yeah. What you doing? Oh, you know, just resting. Wanna chill with me? You can chill with Rafi before hanging out with others within your break time. Chill yeah. like a cool kid? Yeah, bruh. You oblige, gently placing yourself next to Rafi. The cushion you're on bends from your weight. How you doing? I'm having fun. Great. I don't really care, but that's great. Whoa. <laughs> okay. You asked. Contrary to her words, you spot a small grin in the corner of her lips. Okay, I guess she's teasing. When she turns back to you, it is smoothed back into her usual peaceful, laid-back smile. Peaceful and laid-back, like usual. Sometimes I watch other people interact with their friends, mm -hmm. and I realize that a common part of many friendships is, like, bullying your friends. And I gotta say, I don't, I don't feel like our friend group ever really bullies each other other than, like, things we know that people like to be bullied about. You know? I feel like I do a bit of bullying. I like... Think I, I think more than anyone know. else in our group. I think I'm more antagonistic. Maybe, but you're, like, you're still pretty nice about it, you know? Yeah. Like, I mean, you're my friends. Yeah, I just, I just feel like I, I have witnessed various other sets of friends mm -hmm. recently, and there's a lot of, like... Oh, get your ugly ass over here. And it's like, I would never say I that, wouldn't. my friend. Uh, yeah. You know? Yeah. I don't Anyways. know. Yeah. I just... There's... I, w I guess... <laughs> you can this. I would only do that if I know that, like, the person is 100% secure in thinking they are not right. ugly. Right. Which, who has ever felt that? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Like... I would choose to call my friend over with a different insult, perhaps. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Hey, pants, like, or like... Yes, that would be... I don't know. Yo, gay boy, get over here. Yeah. Indeed. Anyways. Um, Want to help me draw Lena's bathroom mirror with permanent markers? I did not expect this energy from you. <laughs> Offering to help decorate her friend's house? How thoughtful. You are touched by this kind gesture of Le Lena. <laughs> Guess we're hoping. It is a duty to help such a thoughtful deed. You get up from the couch, tagging along with Rafi to the toilet. Or so you're about to until a wild Jimothy blocks your way. I'm afraid I can't let you do that, Rafi and Lurin. And who are you to stop me? Someone who owns this house. That's a lie. All three of you know full well this place belongs 420% to Lena. But Jimothy doesn't have a single heck to give. Well then, what are you gonna do about it? Her tone is challenging, insulting even, but somehow it is Jimothy's responding gaze that sends goosebumps along your spine. Rafi. I know that you know that I know a lot of things about you. Like your true identity. Good work 
navigating that sentence. That would generally, genuinely hurt my brain. Uh, are you not familiar with Kelly Clarkson's hit song that goes, I know you know, I know you know. No, oh, I guess not. I guess not. Me. I guess I'm a fake Kelly Clarkson I fan. Anyways, bop, 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 bop. <laughs> Like, what? When you are part or less than three. <laughs> Rapey is already holding your hand and dragging you away back to the couch. How assertive. Maybe next time, Lewin. Jokes aside, it's the very first time you've seen Rafi this shaken. You can't stop wondering about what happened. Yeah, damn girl. What did Jimothy mean about her past and her identity? The mystery nags at your mind. Mystery of Rafi added. Okay, so we've already- okay, so I guess we're done. Yep. Just as you figure out you're done talking to your friends, a wild Jimothy approaches. You briefly wonder if this is how wildlife encounters feel. Hey. Jimothy just nods back. You realize you don't know anything about Jimothy. He's always there when you come over to Lena's house. Lena just introduced him as Jimothy when you first met. You would think he's her lover or whatever, but Lena's about as straight as a ruler. A, a bendy ruler. And to be honest, you've always been too afraid to ask. I'm very intrigued by them saying Lena is straight and thus would not be into him when it appears that Lena is no, no, no. Like they a said, woman. Well, she said straight is a ruler, dot, 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 a bendy ruler. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah. I did not process the second half of that sentence. Now we're, now we're good. I'm with you. Okay. Uh, the first two are rude, and the third one's just kind of funny, so... Who in the world are you? I'm Jimothy. You don't know how to answer that, and Jimothy speaks no more. Now that Jimothy's silent, you start to reflect by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. No! Oh my god. <laughs> he didn't. <laughs> That's so funny. Yes, good work, game devs. Good work. job. Great. <laughs> okay. Today has been really, real fun, but talking to your friends has given you something you've become really, really curious about. You really want to figure out. Ooh, which one do we want to do? I gotta say, the one here that's intriguing me most, and they all are intriguing me. What the fuck is the deal with milk baby? Yeah, yeah, I gotta know. I do gotta know this. Well, you guess you'll do your best to figure that out. Your inner monologue is interrupted by Lena's voice and also a pile of sandwiches. Everyone, get your asses here and our mission's over. With everyone in tow, you shamble over. You realize this is a good chance to ask something. Wait, I have a question. About Jimothy. Oh, no. Who the heck is he? He's my bitch. <laughs> Alright, respect. Good. Lena turns to Jimothy on the couch. Give me three glasses of beer. No. Lena turns back. This is incident mm -hmm. will not be remembered by history. So instead, Lena, no, the game master, clears her throat. As her words fill the space of the room, everyone feels themselves transitioning into the fantasy land of their creation. <laughs> oh my god! Why are there memes? I'm so pleased. There's so many memes now. Look at this pixelated Gordon Finally Ramsay. some good fucking food. Some good fucking food. Oh, and the sandwiches? They're delicious. It's finally over. The land is free, you're free, from this heavy burden the world has placed upon your shoulders. No more innocent blood shall be shed. No more civilians shall cry for mercy. The evil sorcerer has been felled. As you emerge from the dungeon cave place thingy, you shield your face against the blinding light of the sun. Wait, 
Wasn't it night? You realize the blinding light is the light from torches of soldiers here to capture you. Rough. Turns out, murder is illegal. Whoa, no way. What? We killed a bad guy. I mean, we vanquished an evil foe for justice. Hey, get out of my face. According to the law, murder is illegal, but ruling your land with evil sorcery and threats isn't. Curse outdated laws created for those in power that make no sense in its application. Luckily, Real. Luckily, you haven't been discovered yet. Um. What you feeling? Uh, I like it to charm. I mean, we can be charming. It's your charm. We're a bar, right? Yeah. You roll for charm. Getting a 15 or higher means you'll be successful. Let's roll. Roll. You rolled 15. Let's go. The god of dice has smiled upon you, and you are successful. With a not evil grin upon your face, you successfully evade the law. You probably commit tax fraud too, you absolute criminal. A murder charge upon your name, you manage to sneak away. Oh, crap. I, Jimothy, a commoner, sees criminals trying to get away. Alerted by a nameless commoner, the soldiers immediately zero in on you and your friends. As the soldier casts a sleeping spell on you, Damn. the last thing you see is Jimothy. I'm sorry, Lena's friends. You know- Oh! <laughs> Excuse me? I know I had to do it to him. Oh, no, Louisa, give me a better read of that line. You know I had to do it to him. <laughs> Thank you. Perfect. A fun fact about me and loyal follower of this channel, Jody, is that um, someone doxed like the location where that guy took the photo of you know I had to do it to him and so me, mm -hmm. we went with my other friend Indigo to that spot and took a whole bunch of pictures. It was a very fun photo <laughs> shoot. Ugh. Salad. Why is he here? I wanted to feel included. And I let him because I'm the game master. Curse the almighty power of the Game Master. There's absolutely nothing you can do. Hey, yeah, this listen. This is I've been the game, game Master, and I've let some people into my games. And maybe I shouldn't have, because they <laughs> wanted to feel included. Let me tell you, everyone, don't do this. Yeah, I was about to say, hey, Game Masters, it's about consent between you and your players. This is not an adversarial contest, and you're not completely in charge. It is a mutual group thing. And you don't have to please everyone. You don't have to please everything. Just please yourself and make sure that you are checking in with your players. If they don't like yeah. the game, they can fucking hit the bricks. Yeah. So true. Moving on. You all wake up in prison. You also all curse Jimothy. Your game master kind of reminds you that stab stabbing Jimothy is not allowed. Ooh, we need to break out. You wholeheartedly agree. Unfortunately, without your trusty dank guitar, you feel a little down as a bard. But your line of bards were born to be free. In fact, you couldn't even wait nine months to be born. You came out in seven. I came out in eight, you know. It happens. It happens. Everyone that tells you that's not- Oh, actually, I learned- Sorry. <laughs> I learned a wild pregnancy fact. Oh? I have not verified this, but I was told this by, um... I think- I don't It was some person who has been pregnant. Maybe my mom. I don't know. I was at some big family thing. We were talking about pregnancy and stuff. Apparently, you are not- Like, your gestational period does not start when the sperm impregnates- Like, like- gets to the egg, it starts when that egg leaves the fallopian tube, or like something. Like, it starts weeks, Interesting. Like, several weeks before it's actually, like, fertilized. It's technically, like, 
So interesting. Like, if someone, you know, quote unquote, gets pregnant, they were like, the gestational period for that egg is weeks before. Like, they're already several weeks pregnant. Huh. So, like, a lot of people give birth in eight months because they didn't count in the fact that, like, there were several weeks where their body, there was no sperm yet, but their body was. I don't know. It really, it was a mind fuck for me. I was like, Interesting. This, can't, this feels untrue. I, I know I was for sure undercooked, because I had all <laughs> sorts of developmental issues as a baby um, that uh, well, were very are, fun. Well, twins often get born. Yeah, we are, we are often undercooked. Often and they had... Undercooked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Underproved, underbaked, a soggy You've bottle. heard of overcooked. <laughs> now get ready for undercooked. Incredible. Anyway, <laughs> everyone that tells you that it's not a good thing is a hater and should be ignored. So true. Over uh, undercooked rights. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What do you want to do? Hmm. I don't think we have much raw strength and power as a bard. Mm -hmm. So either one or two. Uh. Sorry, one or three. Is what yeah. I meant. I can't count. I'd say three feels more diplomatic. Yeah. Let's take a look around. Not a bad idea. You turn to the wall. Is there a window? An ominous, ominous, ominous skeleton is chained to the wall, implying the doom you may face if you don't hurry the heck up. Poopy skelly boy. It's just a skeleton. A friendly looking man, but that's it. Or is it? You can't help but feel that there's something more to the scale than it seems. Something more heroic and really supportive. Is the skeleton posing like this also a meme? It looks so familiar. <laughs> Maybe. Exactly because of that, Rafi, I mean the paladin, instinctually kicks the skeleton over. A guard hurries to your cell, tears in her eyes. Leave Bob, the emotional support skeleton, alone. The spoopy skeleton on the wall has a name now. Peace, of course. Peace. You use your sudden charming skills as a bard and roll to seduce Bob, the emotional support skeleton. It's not what I meant, not but this we, is fine. Not what we intended by charm. Bob, the emotional support skeleton, is charmed and soothed by your kind words. Apologies for the sweet sounds of New York City. The Puerto Rock Rican Day Pride Parade is going on uh, today, Dude, which is cool as hell. hell. There was a lot of really fun like flags and stuff, and people are playing fun music, but it also means uh, people are driving by blasting loud music during this recording. So and, we'll make and it as they that. should, gay rights. As they should. With your help and your company, Bob the Emotional Support Skeleton is able to overcome his long-lasting fear of commitment. Turns out the true Emotional Support Skeleton was inside you all along. <laughs> Incredible. Now willing to be brave under your new friendship, Bob the Emotional Support Skeleton makes to propose to his boyfriend. Everyone, especially the guard, is extremely touched by this turnout of this event. Good job! The guard, moved by your compassion, agrees to help. The truth is, this place has no key. What? The guard explains that this particular cell has been enchanted with a powerful spell. So unnecessarily powerful, everyone wonders why they did that. The only way to open it is to reach the time for judgment. Or to obtain that. That? Explain that, wench. Much to your surprise, a low laughter emerges from the cell besides you. <laughs> that, huh? How foolish. No one has seen that in centuries. Quiet, prisoner. Pray tell, what is that you speak of? What's the point of knowing something you could never have? But very well, I like the look in your eyes. That is... That is... A GF. <laughs> wow. Truly the most elusive of lesbian items. <laughs> wow. Yeah. A GF? 
I see. A uh, GF. Ah, of course. It was the GF. <laughs> <laughs> Why are your friends so cool with a girlfriend? <laughs> Need a girlfriend. <laughs> Uh, I do. I ran need a girlfriend to break out of yeah. prison. <laughs> Don't we all? You seriously consider the logistics of a girlfriend in breaking out of jail? I mean, you do want a girlfriend regardless. Preferably among your very hot best friends, but... It's true that it's impossible. No one has seen a GF in this land for ages. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's against the law now to make a GF or bringing a foreign GF here. What's the deal with GF in this land? Does this place discriminate against girlfriends? Yeah. Though, you could always make them in private. A whole bunch of GFs, that is. You want to do that? How do you do that? You really need to know how to do that. Just seeing a GF is enough for me to arrest you. They're dangerous, after all. <laughs> Guns and firearms, that is. Oh. You knew that. You totally knew that all along, yeah. From the way your friends avoid your gaze, it seems they were clueless as well. Well, studies from a long time ago show GF violence is directly linked to the availability of GFs. Only a really stupid country would allow GFs while knowing that. So true, Garde. Eh? God bless America. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, shading a certain country has made trial time arrive. Curse the illusion of the passage of time. You even try blowing up the wall in the last ditch attempt. It doesn't work. The guard just looks at you in this really shameful pity that makes you avoid her gaze. As you're led away by the guard, you ask the mysterious stranger one last question. Wait, uh, tell me, what is your name? You hear a low laughter. My name. Jimothy. I've been doing the <gasps> Jimothy voice anyways! You Let's go! It. Let's Great go! I can sense. Okay. I'm okay. gonna hit a quick save real quick. Because with these kind of well, games, you gotta get those branches ready. Yeah, yeah. For sure. Okay, break time. Jimothy? Hi. I wanted to be included <laughs> again. And I let him. Again. They look like they could be siblings, maybe? Yeah. They mentioned she had a twin sister, so maybe it's like... Oh, twin brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, twin sorry, brother. Twin was... brother, yeah. Yeah. Great. That's- I've solved it. I've decided that's what it is. It has to be. Okay. What? You got a problem? How? What you gonna do about it? Curses. The GM has ultimate power and you can't defy her. That's not how this works, but... You also, know? someone come to the store with me to buy drinks. I wanna come. Let me come with you. Somebody's gotta stay to watch the house, and Jimothy's disappeared for some reason. Time to take the bullet like a big damn hero. I'll stay behind. I don't want to move anyways. <laughs> the Louisa energy. Off the charts. Yeah, although I do love a grocery store trip. You love a grocery trip. That's so true. And I love that for you. I miss having you as my cart guardian, guardian of the cart. Yeah, good times. I would go grocery shopping with you. Oh, I miss it. I would get discount it. pastries at the local oh. grocery store together. Ah, bless the undefiable power of the GM. Quick, pick someone you want to stay home with. Ooh, okay. I'm going to hit a quick save here, because this feels like an important... Oh, romance. I think maybe we... I think, unfortunately, maybe we hit the branch earlier, because it's... Just saying, Lena, or alone. Oh. Interesting. Hmm. Oh, right, because, oh, I should have saved when we so had the, that. The milk mystery. The milk babies and the, yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. It's alright. So I guess we'll stay with her so we can keep investigating. Yeah. 
curses to find a loophole in my own logic. All right, all right, we'll stay behind together. Lena hands him some cash along with instructions. You request them to buy you a Pepsi Zero. I do! <laughs> so true. They refuse. So you Although, vow to curse Pepsi them Zero is bad. You want the diet. The Zeros are worse. Mm -hmm. I will drink them, however. As the door closes behind your friends, Lena waving to them, you realize this is the perfect opportunity for you to unveil that mystery. Specifically, the one about Lena's secret, uh, idiocy. Hey, Lena, um... Could you... maybe... tell me more about milk babies? Oh, did no one tell you about them? They're the science behind why milk goes bad. They live in milk and make them taste good. But they can only live in cold places, so you have to make sure they don't die by putting them in the fridge. Jimothy told me all about them when I was little. Mm. Mm. Lena points to Jimothy, who has suddenly appeared on the couch. You stifle a little scream. He is actually pretty smart. You are kind of impressed. How old were you? Seven. Did he, uh, teach you anything else? Well, uh, he taught me McDonald's burgers always come with a bite in them. I nearly accused him for it when I was smaller. How embarrassing. I think McDonald's stopped doing that, though. Holy crap. Holy crap! Right, Jimothy? I lied. Lena laughs. He is always like that. Jimothy ambles away, having nothing more to be said. You've confirmed it. Lena was secretly an idiot. You are thrilled at this amazing discovery. You gained a thousand experience <laughs> points. <laughs> <laughs> Great! Now, not that you can use it in real life. Fab. You guys are really close, huh? You try not to laugh as you picture young Lena believing every bull young Jimothy fed her. Yeah, do you? Wanna see uh, us in childhood? Surprise, you nod and she takes out her phone. Oh, mm. They're so cute. Her name's Lenjamin. Oh. Identical kids stand stuck to each other, happy smiles on their s faces. We were really close when we were younger, but now we're grown up, so we're not so clingy anymore. It tells me that Lena's trans and oh, Lenjamin is is Maybe? her dead name, perhaps. Oh, true. But also unclear. You recall Lena randomly including Jimothy in D&D, or how Jimothy just stays here when he doesn't live here. You beg to differ about that statement, but something in its tone makes you stop. Something like... reassurance? Why would Lena reassure you that she isn't clingy to her brother anymore? Lena shows you a little more of photos in her childhood, and you settle into a comfortable rhythm. There's a strange kind of intimacy in it, huddling close together as you flip through nostalgic photos close to her heart. Somehow, being with Lena is really relaxing. All of a sudden, Lena hesitates, then puts down her phone. You get the feeling she realized it's only the two of you together. Knowing it is one thing, feeling it is another. Can I tell you something? You nod curiously, and Lena continues. To be honest, for a long time I couldn't really stand to look at my photos. I think I got there. it. I think you nailed it. I think I picked up what's putting down. Yeah. I my own house, I have my brothers and friends like you who see me as I am. I should be happy my parents didn't like hit me or kick me out when I told them, but they still call me a boy when I come over. So looking at the photos we took as a family feels a bit strange. Nina's face holds the same impassivity as ever, and yet her fidgeting fingers tell you otherwise. Oh yeah, baby, it's gay so quick. It got gay so fast. 
Gently, you place your hand on Talina's. She leans into the touch. You squeeze it. Because the thing is, you want to try and make her feel safe and important. Safe and important like she tries to make everyone feel. Like she makes you feel. Like you were someone who was a someone to her. Because she is someone who is a someone to you. When you relax your hold, Lena's face looks... red? She leans into your shoulder. You feel the warmth of Lena's shoulder through the thin fabric of your sleeve. And you stay like that for a while. In silent peace. Hey. <laughs> ah! Both you and Lena jump away from each other. You discover you're disappointed by the sudden cold around you. Your cheeks flush. Lena. Lena goes to talk with Jimothy, and you, well, you sit awkwardly on the couch, trying to calm your cheeks. What the hell was that? Soon after your internal turmoil, your friends return with food and a Pepsi Zero, even though disgust is evident on their faces. Yeah, it's a real conversation I have with friends. Sorry about it. <laughs> for me, Louisa, here's the thing. Soda, fine. The fact that you drank it for breakfast, not fine. Still disturbing Well, to okay. Day. It's not... I know your reasoning. I know it. But Louisa... But I want to defend myself for the channel who doesn't know my reasoning. <laughs> fine. The reason is that I need caffeine because... I have various, you know, insomnia, sleep is hard, I, in order to get through the day I need caffeine, however, I hate the taste of coffee. <laughs> so my choices are either, like, drinking a Red Bull at, like, 9am, which is much worse, or drinking, like, a Diet Pepsi, which I get is ca- weird. <laughs> Not to sound like Rowan, but you could have a caffeinated tea... You could do, like, uh, Like, uh... every morning, brewing myself... <laughs> I mean, I guess every morning people brew themselves coffee. It's just so much time. This is really <laughs> part of our ongoing problem that we have, where I'm like, I just want the quick thing. And... Yeah, yeah this is just... You're like, right, this no, is the same... spend time doing yeah. the good one. Yeah, this is just our microwave and oven debate back in yeah. the one. But I like the taste of Pepsi. It's just... <laughs> I acknowledge it's weird for breakfast. But also, I have mostly. Yeah, that's true. You're, you're that. off of it. You're off your pet. Due to the fact that um, I'm now living alone and I don't have a car and I live in a city, so I have to like walk to get all my groceries and bring them back to my apartment. And it is a heavy to carry large packs of soda uh, <laughs> and keep that stocked, and I have to pay for it. So I've kind of weaned myself off. I still often enjoy a lovely Pepsi. Like whenever I'm going out to eat, I will I will get a, a Coke or something. Um, I have no specific allegiance to Coke or Pepsi, um, but you my can't dad tell is the a Pepsi man, though, right? I can absolutely tell the difference. I know that you are the friend who like her parents taste tested. Yes, my dad is way more of a Pepsi dude than I am. This is why I am the way I am. And we did like a family taste test to see if we could legitimately all tell the difference because he swears by Pepsi and he's like, I can tell. And he couldn't, but ah, I could. Incredible. Um, yeah. Anyways. Nice. I know this is not a trait I'm proud of, <laughs> but it is a trait of mine. Hey, this channel's all about the posterity. Yeah. Curses shall not befall them in your dying breath. It takes a bit of a scuffle to return to each of your seats. Soon enough, though, the game master clears her throat. And it begins. The trial for the murder of the victim, Prozac very evil sorcerer McEvil, commences. The Queen Majesty herself is the judge. The thought. She's not a thought. She's a hard-working queen. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to skip that paladin line. <sighs> but we do have to- the two genders, we do have to pick. Hmm. All women are queens. But if she breathes, just... she's a thought. Yeah, that's that's true also. Mm, mm. It's a rough one. I'll let you pick. If she breathes, she's a thought. Yeah. Ignoring you all, the judge picks up the gavel and knocks it against the stand. The trial commences. After the opening statement, accusing you three of a heinous crime of murder, terrible, the prosecution calls the witness to the stand. If all your players mm. of phonetics rights are to be believed, this is the bit where you can prove your innocence. 
Better keep your wits sharp, Croc Donovan. The guard of the prison comes to the stand. As a guard to this kingdom, it is my duty to be observant. And obviously, these criminals hate rocks. What? Uh, nah. Some of my best friends are rocks. When I found them, they were viciously attacking the stone wall. And look what I found at the scene of the crime. The guard holds up a rock. Somehow you recognize it as one from the cave. No. No, don't just flash. <laughs> don't, do, don't just flash Dwayne at me, game. Oh my god. Ugh. The rock <laughs> is smooth. Like, really smooth. It's near Do we know when this game was made? Because it's <laughs> it's of such an era that I, I really it's respect only a couple years old. Okay, yeah, I really respect coming uh -huh. to revisit these memes a little bit. Yeah. I, I love it. It's got some some, some finely aged not, memes. The yeah, trends. not a, not afraid to <laughs> be a little cringy in a way that I deeply respect. Yeah, same. Hold up. I examine the rock. Why would you need to examine a rock? What if the rock is poisonous? What if touching it kills you? The choice of a lifetime dawns upon you. We gotta touch the rock. I'm gotta sorry. Rock. We gotta touch the rock. You gently boop the rock and wherever it's rocky nose is. Boop. Nothing happens. You... you risk your life just to disprove my theory? For me? I... I'm so touched. I mean, disgusted. You inwardly appreciate her appreciation for your boundless bravery. Wait! The court whispers amongst themselves. I realized! This rock is crucial evidence that we are innocent! With a jolt, you realize what she's talking about. Quick, this is your time to help out. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna save, because I don't... I believe it's the first one. Probably? Probably. Rafi shines a rare, approving smile in your direction. You beam. You hear Gwen tutting in the background. You see, sires, this proves exactly that our actions were justified self-defense. Please, look at this rock. The judge cranes and observes it. You have no idea what's up. Did the sorcerer somehow carve or written? Oh, I clicked too fast. Smooth, is it not? This smoothness shows the sorcerer was, in fact, using the hot magical powers to burn our surroundings to a fault degree. Using the magic he was so proud of. But you can just use fire magic. We just saw you try to explode out of the prison. Magic missile. As evidence, you can look in the cell we were just at. The rocks should be jagged. What an amazing deduction. The court whispers among themselves until the judge bumps their gavel. Order in the court. Having listened to both sides, it is very obvious the verdict is not guilty. Woo! Yeah, you're free. You and your friends get charged with a small fine anyways, but victory and freedom is sweet. Congratulations, hero. Not only have you purged this land of evil and saved your friends' hides, you have also gotten scot-free of murder. And really, what more could a hero want? You celebrate joyously with your friends, wishing more than ever for your dank guitar so you could play a happy tune. Sacrifices have been made, but it has been done. You've earned your happy ending. And today's campaign ends. Good job, guys. Thanks, Lena. That was fun, I guess. It's already late at night, huh? With a shock, you realize it's past midnight. And how fortunate that you're the only one without a car. 
Oh, so, yeah, baby. Bard oh. doesn't have a car. Classic so lesbian FD zero. Drama. Really? This pro tag is just this me. This is you, yeah. While you're calculating taxi fares, though, your friend's voice calls out to you. I'll drive you home. I little... bet you will. Yeah, I bet you will, baby. <laughs> you're a little surprised, but please nonetheless that she takes her keys. As she instructs Jimothy to lock the door when everyone leaves, you say goodbye to your friends. They happily tell you it was fun. You sure are looking forward to hanging out again. Lena holds you by the hand as she leads you out, without hesitation. Her hand is pretty cold. You hold it tighter as if to warm it up a little as you walk, and walk you do in silence, warming each other if only by the touch between two palms. Finally, she opens her mouth to speak. Luren. What? It's a cool name. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> the, thanks. I, uh... It was really nice having you today. Like, really, really nice talking to you about memories I love, or just sitting quietly together. You feel something in your chest flutter at the sincerity in her words. How strange. Your touching hands are only so great, and yet the heat from Lena's hand warms your entire body right down to your heart and right up to your ears. You know, I loved spending time with you today, too. Because I really like you, Lena. <laughs> Thanks. Blushy! She's so cute! A giggle escapes you. You suddenly realize you don't need to keep holding her hand. You're warm already. And yet, to be honest, you don't really want to let go. Hey. My house, um... I'm not used to living alone, so it feels a bit lonely. Are we getting U-Haul lesbian representation? Well. Move in before you kiss. Move in well. before you kiss! Do you want to come over okay, okay. Saturday? Far more reasonable. <laughs> we can watch movies, or play games, or fuck dirty. <laughs> Just the two of us. <laughs> I'm... I'm asking this as a date. Whoa. Of course. I'm really looking forward to it. The hand you're holding shifts. The friction feels incredibly heated, but comfortably so. As you look at her smile, a pretty smile. The smile of your, a uh, someone. You have a thought. A natural thought, really. A thought that you're looking forward to it, too. As natural as the gravity that pulls your head down in a single nod. As natural as your breaths filling up the space between the two of you. Something sparkles above you, as if you accentuate your promise. Oh, a shooting star. I've never seen one for real before. Shooting stars, huh? That means someone farted while thinking of me. <laughs> Girl! My brother told me that. <gasps> of course he did. And he also told me... If you see a shooting star while holding hands, it means you'll be... No, no. Apologies for the honking. <laughs> Lena looks incredibly sweet as her voice trails off. Brows furrowed as she searched her memories. Go away, malware. Okay, Luren, don't fuck this up. Be cool for once in your life. Gotta say something cool. Your lucky star? Shit, shit, shit. You fucked up! Oh no, I'm- wait. I think- I think I can go back. There's a back button. Yeah. Yeah. You finally got somewhere, and this is what you say to the coolest person you know? You force a smile, praying this dumpster fire goes unnoticed. To your surprise, Lena isn't looking at you with absolute disgust, but with- Fondness? 
You know what? Why not? Your heart tickles. Hey, Lena. You step forward, just a little closer. Just a little bit. Closing the tiny gap between you and her. She looks to you, realizing what you are about to do, and you... If you don't want this, move away, okay? Love consent. Consent before you kiss someone is the sexiest. Indeed. Like, so true. I'm a slut for the trope of two people in a fan fiction, like, shutting someone up with a kiss or surprising them with a kiss. But in real life, you gotta get the clues. You gotta get the signals. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You gotta know. She doesn't move away. Your lips- Oh, on the cheek! Oh. On the cheek! Let the lesbians get down and dirty, game! Alright. That's all we get. Oh. That's so cute. This is cute. Alright. Well, we'll definitely do some of these other routes. I've been told that, like, you know, there, you know, we can do all the routes pretty quickly. So we'll definitely finish out, like, all the different romance routes in this game. So y'all yeah. will see us hang out with Rafi and with Gwen and see if there's a secret gym route, which I'm excited about. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Yeah. Happy Thanks, Pride everyone. Month. Um, Happy Pride and Ollie. Bye bye. Ollie. Bye bye.